Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing this specific issue where for some reason your iPhone keeps telling you or prompting you that this Apple ID has not been used in the iTunes store or the app store and basically you just get into this pop-up and you can't download any apps or anything like that. Now this process is very easy to fix in a couple of different ways. The first way being pretty much directly just you know with the prompt itself and the second way being mostly with other settings within your device's settings. Now, the very first thing I would recommend doing is pretty much once you get this pop-up, it's a just a review or an agreement process. And what this is, is that sometimes when you go ahead and you know set up your Apple ID for the first time, you may not agree to their terms of service, or you may not you know put in your shipping address or things that Apple deems that you need in order to actually download apps. And this is totally okay because you can go ahead and modify these in the settings. But in this case, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click review right there. So once you get this little pop-up, if you're able to replicate it again by downloading an app, I would recommend clicking review. And then you'll get into the prompt where you can go ahead and review the terms of service or whatever the case is and agree to those terms and service. Now, let's say you don't see review or it just says close or whatever the case is. Well, what you can do there is at this point, you just have to go into your settings app. At the very top right here are your iCloud settings. So all you have to do is click on your iCloud settings like this. You'll get into this little prompt. You'll see a bunch of devices that have your you know, Apple ID and stuff. But what you want to do is you want to click on payment and shipping. And then at that point, you want to go ahead and it, might, it may prompt you for your password or something. And once you get into this little pop-up, you basically want to go ahead and add in your payment method and your and add your shipping address. This is typically what Apple wants. Sometimes, like I said before, it may not be exactly what's going to be fixing this issue, but it's a step in the right direction. And typically, from what I've read online and from what I've seen in person, typically this will end up fixing the issue. If you're able to click on a review and agree the terms of service and that doesn't work, then the next thing I would recommend doing is adding your payment and shipping. So adding some sort of payment method, whether that's PayPal, your credit card, banking statement, whatever it is, and then adding a shipping address, which is whatever address you can use, whatever address you want to. And that is pretty much the first set way that I would go ahead and do it. Now, another way that I've seen this specific, you know, error work where if your Apple ID hasn't been used in the App Store and you just can't seem to fix it and it looks like you did everything right, I've actually read this on Reddit and it seems like it has a pretty decent success rate. So in order to fix this issue, the second way, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to make your way over to your settings app just like this. Once you get here, like I mentioned before, the top setting is your iCloud settings. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that little settings icon. Once you're on this page, all you have to do is pretty much locate your little media and purchases little tab. So it's right in the middle. It's underneath iCloud in the middle of Find My. You want to go ahead and click on media and purchases. Now, once you get here, you'll basically get a couple of different options. You'll see view account, password settings, sign out. What you want to do is click the sign out option right here. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to sign you out of iCloud most likely. And then all you have to do at this point is basically either open up the app store or go back into your settings and log back in to your iCloud you know, settings. Then you want to go ahead and try downloading the app again. Most of the time from what I've seen in my life, this might actually end up fixing the issue in and of itself. And all you have to do at this point is pretty much download the apps that you want to and pretty much move on with your day. This is the other way that I would recommend doing it. So those are the two main ways. If that still doesn't work, I'd recommend checking your internet connections. If you get that pop-up, I would clicking review and then reviewing the terms of service. But if none of those things work, then I would recommend contacting Apple and then having them fix it for you, basically. So those are just a couple ways to fix it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much for you guys to hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.